Hello and thank you for watching. This is a continuation of the last video that I showed you on how to build a solar generator. Um, in this video we're going to cover how to connect a solar panel to your generator. Uh, we're gonna, we'll are gonna we connect the panel to the charge controller and then from the charge controller to your panel. Uh, I'm going to start by showing you a, an actual solar panel. Uh, I'm going to um, talk about the different connection types that the panels come with, MC4 connectors and SAE connectors. Um, we are going to be dealing with an SAE connector, but I'll talk about both types. Uh, and then we'll talk about connecting the panel to the charge controller and then the charge controller to the box. Uh, lastly, we'll cover how to mount the charge controller onto the panel so as to make one neat uh, plug-and-play type package. Alright, we have here a Renogy 30 watt solar panel. This panel comes by default uh, with an SAE connector on the back. Uh, this is the same kind of connector that uh, plugs into your generator. However, we don't want to plug the panel straight into the generator. You can do that if you're willing to keep an eye on it, uh, but what you want is a charge controller in between the panel and the generator. And what a charge controller does is it prevents the battery from overcharging. Um, you don't want to get over 15 volts um, and you'll, you'll see your voltage climb as you're charging the battery. It'll slowly go uh, from whatever the starting voltage is and it'll climb up to 15 volts and it's a very slow process uh, but once you reach 15 you want to stop charging and you want to float your voltage at 15 volts um, so that's what a charge controller does it's an automated machine that controls that voltage for you now the panel um, it comes like I said with the SAE connector but it actually has two connections with it um, it comes with an extra cord that plugs onto the SAE connector and the end of the cord uh, it comes with two clamps on it and I simply cut those clamps off, stripped the wire and we're going to plug the wire into our charge controller. Um, I will show you how that works now. This is a charge controller. This is it's another Renogy product. Um, this charge controller is a little bit different from the one that I sent you on your parts list. This one has an LCD display built into it which features primarily a voltmeter. Uh, you don't need a voltmeter because we've already got one built into our generator. Uh, so this is unnecessary. Um, the one that I sent you doesn't include this and it's a lot less money than this one here. Basic functions are the same however. Uh, down here we've got our inputs. There's, uh, this is our solar panel hookup, and this is our generator hookup, and this is for an external load. You don't need this, it's completely optional. Um, we're going to ignore this because you don't need it. Um, so we're going to start with our solar panel hookup. We're going to plug the panel into the charge controller, and then we're going to go from the charge controller into the generator. Uh, you can see here, outside the window there, that's my solar panel. Um, I'm going to show you the back of it and how to uh, get it plugged into the charge controller. Okay, you can see here, this is the back of my solar panel. Uh, the wire is running inside my apartment to the end of the SAE cord. Um, the first step is figuring out which side of this cord is negative and which side is positive and you'll see why later. So we're going to look at the back of the panel and you can see we've got positive, we've got the positive side and we've got the negative side. Um, I'm going to zoom in here just to make sure that you can see this. There's the plus side and the negative symbol, so positive, negative. All right, now we're just gonna grab the cord and we know that the right side is positive, the left side is negative, so we're going to slide our hand all the way down the cord, keeping it perfectly straight and flat until we get to the bottom, okay? 
Now we've reached the bottom and the right side was the metal part, the left side was the uh, plastic part. So we know that this metal prong here is positive and the left side is negative. All right. So we're going to take the other part of our cord. I'm going to put you back on the mount here. All right, here's the other part of our cord that the solar panel came with. And remember I told you before, these two wires, they used to have little clamps on them, little battery clamps so that you could just clamp straight onto the battery. I just cut those off with my wire cutters and I stripped the ends of the wire. Um, and the reason is because we're going to plug these ends of the wire into the solar panel. Now, these SAE cords, ports, they can be a little bit confusing. Um, remember, this is our positive side. So if this is our positive, that means that for this side, on this cord, this is negative. All right, so we're just gonna plug this in. Okay, this is positive, this is negative. Now again, we're just gonna slide our hand down this cord. So we get to the end and we know that the, we had the positive on the left side so here's the positive here's the negative all right if that doesn't make sense email me and I'll explain it again as best I can okay so we're gonna go back to our charge controller I'm just gonna pan you around here all right if you want, you can put a little piece of tape around the positive side once you figure out what it is, just to help you remember. Um, now, we're going to take our two cords and we're just going to plug them straight into this, the uh, charge controller here. Now, these charge controllers, the way they work, there's holes on the bottom here. So you've got your screws here and you've got these holes on the bottom. When you unscrew, the charge control this uh, screw here when you when you turn it to the left and loosen it what you're doing is you're opening up the hole on the bottom and I would show you the holes on the bottom but it's not going to be very easy to do um, so once you have it though you'll you'll see exactly what I'm talking about this isn't hard to figure out all right so we're gonna take this wire the positive and we're going to insert it into the hole and you're gonna hold it there until you tighten the screw back down. And you're closing that hole. It's two metal connectors that are squeezing the wire together and they grab it and hold it in place. So once you've tightened this all the way down, you can let go of your wire and you can see that's connected. It's not coming out. Uh, now we're going to do the same side for the negative. Loosen our screw up. Insert the wire. Hold it in place until it's tightened. Okay, there you go. Now our solar panel is connected to the charge controller. Next, we're going to connect the charge controller to the generator. Alright, so to go to the generator obviously we need another SAE cord. Um, I've got one here and there's the two ends of the cord. Um, now your solar panel only comes with one extra cord so you'll need to order another one. Um, I'll find one for you and add that to your parts list. Now the cord we, we need to figure out again uh, which side is the positive and which side is the negative for the ends of this cord. Um, and the way that you do that is you simply look at your SAE port going into your generator, you open it up, and you look at the wires from the inside. The red wire is positive, the black wire is negative. 
and so you can you can tell uh, based on which side those wires are on um, which side is positive and which side is negative so once you know that you're going to uh, take your positive and your negative and you can tape the positive side and we're simply going to plug into the charge controller here so this is our positive side this is our negative side same thing we're going to plug our wire in alright our generator cord is now connected to the charge controller so this cord is coming off the c controller and we're going to now plug this side into the generator right, so we've got our cords connected into the charge controller you can't see the, the charge controller is not in the frame of the camera right now uh, but this is the cord coming off of the battery side this is the cord coming off of the solar panel side so this is going out the window connected to the solar panel this is coming straight from the charge controller and uh, coming down to the generator. So now that we've plugged into the charge controller, we're simply going to take this cord and plug it straight in to the actual generator. And that is all there is to it. Um, so you just plug the panel into the charge controller, the charge controller into the generator, and you're done. Okay, now obviously this is a very stationary setup. Um, this is, you know, I've got my panel permanently mounted, hanging out the window here. I've got my charge controller mounted onto the wall. Um, you could do something like this and keep your generator charged up and then when you're ready to take it somewhere, you can just unplug it and you've got portable power to go. Um, now, the reason that I have this particular setup is because I actually am using this panel to run a larger system. Uh, my entire apartment is on solar power. And so this is how I have my, my configuration. Um, if you wanted it to be more portable, say you want to be able to take your solar panel and your generator camping, um, you, you want to keep things as simple as possible, you could actually mount the charge controller directly onto the back of your panel and you could keep all the wires permanently in place. Um, I'm going to show you how to do that. Alright, now say that you want your system to be a little more portable. You want to be able to take your solar panel and generator camping and you don't have to, want to have to worry about bringing a giant charge controller along and then connecting all this stuff once you get there. Um, we can package this all together into a nice neat little system. What you'll do is instead of mounting your charge controller to the wall, we're going to mount it directly onto our solar panel. And we're going to do it using our handy little self-tapping or self-drilling screws that we talked about before. Um, this will not damage your solar panel, it will not damage the frame, it will make some very small, strictly cosmetic holes. Um, there's absolutely no reason not to do this. Also, the charge controller that I sent on your parts list is a lot smaller than this one. So, this looks kind of bulky here. Yours shouldn't be as bulky. Uh, you can always look for a smaller one if you're worried about uh, size or space or whatever. Um, so we're just going to take this and we're going to drill it straight on to the frame of our solar panel. Three. Now our solar panel, I'm sorry, our charge controller is mounted directly to the solar panel. So all we have to do, we take the cord that goes to the solar panel and 
we connect it directly to the solar panel. Just like so. Now, we've got lots of wire here. Um, there's several ways that you can deal with this. You could shorten your cord and uh, you would have to take this junction, but open this up and re-solder and it's really not worth it. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to bundle this all up and I'm going to zip tie it together. Alright, there you go. You can even use this hole and zip tie this up here just to make it even more neat. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright, our charge controller is now installed and hooked up to the solar panel. This is one portable neat little package. Um, this cord here simply comes straight off the charge controller and goes onto the generator. Um, again, this looks a little bit bulky, but the charge controller you'll be getting is smaller, so it shouldn't look this shouldn't look like this. It'll look a little neater than this. Um, so now you just lay your solar panel in the sun and you plug this into your generator and you're good to go. There it is, there is the finished product. All right, this concludes our video. Um, I told you at the beginning that I was gonna be covering two types of connections, the SAE connector, connectors and the MC4 connectors. Uh, what you just saw me do use was the SAE connectors. So you're gonna make the same kind of adapter, um, except you'll use MC4 connectors, not SAE connectors, and tap straight into the panel I mean, I'm, and tap straight into the charge controller. If you want to know what an MC4 connector looks like, go to Renogy.com and click on the 100 or 200 watt panels. Look at the photos. Uh, it'll show you on the back. Those are MC4 connectors. Uh, so anyway, thanks for watching. I hope that you found this video useful. Uh, your feedback on eBay is very much appreciated.